The history of investing has been full of innovations and trends. Cryptocurrency is the latest of these crazes, leading to a stock versus cryptocurrency debate. As cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum have jumped in value, millions of investors have tried to profit off of the rise of digital payment systems. Some people have even stopped investing in traditional stocks altogether in hopes of scoring big by investing in crypto. But is this wise? Which is a better choice for investors like you? Before we proceed to answer that question, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more similar content on finance and investing decisions. Stocks, also known as equities, are a type of security you can purchase to gain ownership in a company. Investors own individual shares of stocks. Those who purchase stock hope to make money through both capital appreciation and dividend payments. The two major types of stocks are common stock. This type of investment allows the owner to both receive dividends and to vote during shareholder meetings. Preferred stock. This type of investment allows the owner to receive dividends before those who hold common stocks. Also, preferred stockholders are prioritized over common stockholders should the company go bankrupt or have its assets liquidated. However, the owner of preferred stock typically cannot vote during shareholder meetings. Stocks can also be further divided into additional asset class categories, such as growth stocks, value stocks, and income stocks. Another way to categorize stocks is by the size of the company. There are large cap, mid cap, and small cap stocks, for example. Historically, investing in stocks has been among the best ways to build wealth over long periods of time. Over the years, millions of people have gotten wealthy by participating in stock market investing. Cryptocurrency is a digital currency that people use to buy goods and services. The crypto part of this term refers to the fact that cryptography is used to secure the currency, protecting it from being counterfeited or spent more than once. Over the past couple of years, cryptocurrency has become steadily more popular. Bitcoin and Ethereum are perhaps the best known forms of cryptocurrency. Unlike most forms of currency, cryptocurrency typically does not exist in a physical form. Instead, it is stored electronically, unless the owner uses a service to turn it into a physical token. To use cryptocurrency as a form of payment, you typically must use your phone or computer to exchange it online banks are not involved in the transaction. Typically, you use an online exchange platform to buy cryptocurrency, which is then stored in a digital wallet. In some ways, cryptocurrency exists in a kind of Wild West atmosphere. Unlike traditional currency, governments do not back cryptocurrency. Its value also can fluctuate dramatically, making it a more volatile investment than most stock purchases. There is no agency such as the Federal Deposit Insurance Corp to insure an investment in cryptocurrency, which makes it unlike standard cash kept in a bank. If something goes wrong with cryptocurrency, such as an online platform going belly up or making a mistake by sending cryptocurrency to the wrong recipient, you may have no recourse for getting the currency back. What's the difference between stocks and cryptocurrency? While stocks and cryptocurrency have some distinct differences, it still can be confusing for some new investors to understand how they compare. People invest in both stocks and cryptocurrency for the same reason, to make money. But while this goal may be the same, there are five key differences between the two. They include Number 1. The nature of the asset when you buy a stock, you are purchasing shares in a company. In essence, you're taking a small ownership stake in that company. By contrast, buying cryptocurrency is investing in a currency, not a company. Number 2. The Level of Volatility Investing in both stocks and cryptocurrency involves volatility. There are times when you will make money and times when you'll lose it. But the volatility of cryptocurrency tends to be much more significant than what you will experience investing in most stocks. Number 3. The Regulations That Govern Trading Most stocks are highly regulated. The US Securities and Exchange Commission monitors shares and the markets in which they're traded. 
The lion's share of stock trading occurs on large exchanges, such as the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ. By contrast, there is much less regulation of the trading of cryptocurrencies. This creates a higher risk of fraudulent activity. There also is no centralized exchange system for cryptocurrency trading. Instead, independent companies run their own exchanges. Number 4. The Fees You Pay For Transacting When you purchase a stock, you might pay a broker a fee or a commission to make the trade. In addition, when you sell your shares, you often will pay a capital gains tax. By contrast, with cryptocurrency, fees and other costs typically are lower. Number 5. Durability of the Investment Types The history of stock trading stretches back hundreds of years. It is a firmly established practice, and the thought of it suddenly disappearing is almost inconceivable. By contrast, cryptocurrency is the new kid on the block. Although many people make predictions, no one really knows what the future of cryptocurrency holds. It could be around forever, or it might be gone tomorrow. Stocks and cryptocurrency both have their place in the world of investing, but that does not mean everybody should purchase these types of investments. The right choice for you depends on your goals, risk tolerance, and other factors. Stock Investing This might be the right choice for you if you're someone with a long-term horizon who believes in building wealth slowly. Decades, even centuries of stock trading history support the notion that trading in stocks is among the best ways to build wealth over a long time horizon. While there is some risk involved in stock trading, a sensible approach to investing has a history of yielding great long-term results. Some tech stocks that you might want to look at might include that of Apple, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, or even Tesla. Cryptocurrency Investing this might be for you if you like to live on the edge or want to try to get rich fast. Fortunes already have been made in crypto, and investors may see similar results in the future. Still, investing in cryptocurrency has a history of being volatile, and nobody knows what the future holds for this new type of currency. Many financial advisors steer their clients away from this kind of risky trading believing that taking such large risks prevents most folks from achieving their long-term financial goals. So, if you want to invest in cryptocurrency, remember the slogan, buyer beware before you jump in. Popular cryptocurrencies include Bitcoin, Ethereum, Polkadot, and meme coins such as Dogecoin and Shiba Inu. The bottom line? Those who are investing for the long haul are likely to find their odds of investing success will be much higher if they choose stocks. Those who like to take bigger risks and who are not afraid of the danger of losing large amounts of money may want to try their hand at cryptocurrency investing. When it comes to stocks versus cryptocurrency, only you, with help from your financial advisor, can decide which way of investing is right for you. That was all from us today. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more similar content. See you in the next one.